All right, guys. I'm back. Took me a little bit of time to, uh, you know, figure out exactly what I wanted to do. So I know everyone wants to get 2.2 um, Froyo on your Samsung Captivate. So this is going to be the whole video on how we could get that. So if you watch my previous videos, make sure you you um, have root access, and then um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Android Market and download ROM Manager. Okay. So um. I got another camera here. It's going to be focused on the phone, and uh, I'm going to show you how to download ROM Manager. And what that is going to do is going to allow you to install custom ROMs. And um, we got this custom one called uh, Cognition, and it's a 2.2 Froyo build. So um, this guy put together this nice package, um, and it will actually run on the Samsung Captivate. So very simple to do once you have the root install ROM manager you're just gonna download the cognition 2.2 for your ROM and then you're gonna back up your phone make it, I'll show you how to back up all your applications and all the settings you use that with titanium backup so you just select what programs you want hit backup and um, it's gonna save it to the SD card then just make a copy of that on your computer just in case um, then we're gonna go use ROM manager install the ROM of the 2.2 it's going to restart, it's going to do its thing and bam 2.2 it's that simple um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you step by step what we're going to do so here we have um, ROM manager I got this on the Android market I'm going to go ahead and click install now there's two versions you got a premium one and a free one um, doesn't, I would go with the free one if you don't want to pay. Um, it will do the job just the same. Um, very good, very good. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this install. So we're going to hit OK. Now it's going to download. Alright, now we're going to go to our ROM manager. Hopefully this works on the first try. Once this loads, we're going to select our ROM. We'll be good to go. Okay, we're going to accept this and OK. It's got new features, cool. So, if you don't have. Um, ROM manager installed, you're going to have to um, flash the clockwork mod recovery. As you see, mine says current recovery clock mod 2.5.1.2. So I don't have to do that. So if you were going to make sure you click that, flash it first. All right, we're going to click backup. It's going to make a backup, hit OK. This is super user. Click allow. Okay, bam, now it's going to restart. It's going to do its thing. This usually takes a little bit of time. So this is actually uh, um, the recovery mode that's going to be um, let me see if I get this focused a little better. See, it's backing up all my files. And this get this usually takes a good amount of time. Oh yes, don't worry about this um this message. Um, that's if uh, if you don't have a an SD card then it's going to skip. Nothing to be concerned of. Okay, so it's finished. It's going to reboot. And at the moment, I do have my Froyo installed on this phone. It's, um, if you still have uh, e Eclair, that's fine too. Um, you know, uh, 2.1, if that's installed, just make sure you have the root, ROM manager, titanium backup, and um, everything should be golden for you. The biggest thing is ROM manager needs root access so um, it could flash the, the 
the recovery mode, which will allow you to back up and also uh, install the other ROMs. So I'm going to give this a, a couple minutes to um, start up. I'm having some issues with this at the moment, uh, so it's a little flaky. And this is um, not not this. This is actually the stock um, screen. It's not the puzzle screen that comes with the Captivate. Um, and this didn't really come with the ROM, the 2.2. I actually had to install this manually. I'll probably do another video on how to actually um, remove the the puzzle unlock screen to get this. I like this a lot better for some reason. Just you know, it's more simple and cleaner. I think, and it you know, just gives it that uh that normal Android look. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is, um, since we have ROM Manager installed, we're going to go to it. Bam, click it. Alright. And I already put my um, Cognition ROM onto my SD card, which is, you know, when you go to, uh, you know, Your um, you scroll down. If you click, uh, you know, connect USB, just bam, copy it over there. Now what we're gonna do is see where it says install ROM from SD card. Go ahead, click that. Okay, I actually put it in here. So uh, this is the one I had before, Cognition 2.2 Beta 8.1. Now I'm gonna be doing um, Cognition 2.4.1, which is the latest one as of. Um, November 13, 2010. So I'm going to go ahead, click that. Okay. It's going to, um, this is what you can, you can back up it, your ROM, um, wipe data and clean cache. So I'm not going to click on either of these. I'm just going to hit OK. So press OK to reboot into recovery mode and continue the installation. We're going to click OK. And at that point, it might ask you for super user permissions. But since we, um, you saw that in the other screen, it has given ROM Manager the permissions. So right here, this is where it's actually going to install the new ROM. And this usually takes a little bit of time. At first, when I first did it, the progress bar appear to not be doing anything and uh, I was kinda nervous but live and learn nothing to be afraid of so this usually takes a a good a good amount of time alright so now, don't worry about this. <clears throat> so it has finished installing. It's going to reboot, and we're going to be 2.2 Sabbat. It. And this is the new boot screen that it's coming with this Cognition ROM. And there we go. So, media scanner is running. It's a cool, nice uh, improvement. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see a little better. Nice skin. Once the media scanner is done, go ahead and show you some cool features. Oops. That's the annoying thing. Make sure you set that. Uh, settings. 
display, uh, puzzle lock, screen timeout. We're going to go ahead and put uh, two minutes. Ooh. Let's go back. So, um, about phone. As you can see, 2.2. Build cognition. So, there you go. It's pretty simple. Everything works. Um, very basic. Nothing's installed right now. So, just to show you that I do still have all the files on my SD card. Everything um, that's on your SD card will still be here. So when you do um, install the new ROM, it doesn't delete anything on the SD card. It just deletes everything that's been installed, so all your applications. Because those are actually installed on the ROM, not your SD card. SD card is just for um, storage. So there you go, um, Samsung Captivate with Froyo 2.2 of Android.